Good day. This video is of cutting a quarter Whitworth thread on some 304 stainless. Uploaded it some years ago and uh, it hasn't had many views so I thought I'd re-upload it with some simulation and explanation of the g-code that the Hercus uses. The first line is G90 which means absolute measurements from home. G71 means we're using metric measurements and G95 means we're using units per revolution. You can run the simulation a step at a time or as a complete run through. Um, G57, the next line, is begin subroutine with R1 being the number of that subroutine. T1 is tool number, M6 is a tool change if you have a turret or you get a dialog box telling you to change tools. G50, X and Z coordinates from home. That's how you set your tool up and the machine knows what you're doing. Uh, the spindle speed is set. M3 is the spindle direction. The feed is set when you initialize your program um, and it stays that way until you change the feed with another command. GOO is a rapid move, the machine max. Uh, in this case, with this machine, it's 2700 millimeters per minute. That's just another rapid move there to get the tool in the right position to begin the threading cycle. G76 is the number of a threading can cycle, uh, which gives you one line and has all the data in it that you need to cut the thread. X being the minor diameter, Z being the length of thread, K is the depth of thread, D is the depth of the first cut and the computer works out what the rest of the cuts should be, F is the pitch and A is the angle of thread, which in this case is 55 degrees because it's a thread. Um, this is sticking out a bit from the uh, collet so I did a second can cycle with just three passes which you could call a spring pass if you like and you'll see when it's cutting it actually does remove more material M5 is stop the spindle and there's a rapid to just get the tool out of the way so we can access the part put a new one in and M0 is a program pause so that you can start again you start again because we're running a subroutine and G58 which you can't see um, because it's read it and just goes to the beginning of the program um, and then G59 R1 C20 which is another line you can't see um, R1 is the number of the subroutine because you can run any number of them and C20 is the number of times that subroutine will be run um, and as I said these are not seen because the program reads them and just starts the subroutine again. This is how we end up, well we were back at line 20 um, after going to line 61. So now the, I've told it to just continue with the program and that's what it's doing there. That collet holder I had to get made up because the bore of the spindle is not big enough to actually utilize the outside thread as most draw bars do. Um, I had to make it up so that the draw bar uses the internal thread on the collet itself. So it is a specially made collet holder and closing arrangement at the other end of the headstock. There you can see the 304 stainless has been cut reasonably well. It's chattering a bit because it's hanging a long way out of the collet. And you'll see the chatter marks at the end. And that was including the spring pass. There you can see the chatter marks on the part but the customer was happy with them. And really, that's uh, what I was making the part for. So thank you for watching.